How's it going everybody, Zab here, and I want to go ahead and just start this video off with a question, which is how do I make my puck so quick? Uh, this was asked by a good viewer of mine, and this is a question that I get asked quite often, uh, whether it be here on Xbox, or on YouTube, or on Twitter, wherever, this is a question, like I said, I get asked quite a bit. And uh, as a bunch of you guys know, I am doing a Q&A video, hopefully within, I don't know when, probably within the week of when this video is released. So uh, once this video is up, probably within that seven days, you're going to see a Q&A video from me. And uh, I've been asked some pretty good questions so far, but I definitely want some more. So uh, if you haven't already, just in the comments, go ahead and just ask any question your heart desires, whether it be uh, my opinion on something, uh, you know, what I use to make my videos, whatever, just ask, ask, ask away, uh, as many as you'd like. So, anyway, like I said, this question, how do I make my pucks so quick? Uh, you guys, if you see my Hockey Ultimate Team updates every Monday, you're gonna know I make a fair amount of pucks uh, pretty quick, and so... This, let me just start off by saying, these are the ways I make pucks, these are my methods. They're not necessarily going to be the best ways to make pucks, you're not necessarily going to see the biggest profit if you do everything I do. I'm just saying, this is how I personally make the pucks. It may not be the easiest, may not be the best, this is just the way I personally do it. So, let's start off this puck making method guide whatever you want to call it off by looking at the front page here now generally there's going to be an ad now right now there's not an ad there was one earlier it's not showing up now um, but down in the lower right hand corner where it says slim jim learn more about your sponsor or our sponsor uh, if you just go to the left and right usually there's different ads um, I'd say there's probably three a day, which is 750 pucks. Each ad is 250, so just watch those, and uh, I'll show you how to redeem them just in case you don't know. I'm sure most people know my app by now, but if you don't, you go down to extras, and then there's going to be a section that says redeem pucks or something like that, and you click that, and it'll add it to your account. Now, right now, I don't have any pucks, but... Um, but if I did, it would be redeemed there. Now, I unfortunately only have 576 pucks because I'm in the process of uh, basically making a rookie line. Um, I want to do a rookie D pairing maybe and like a rookie uh, forward line. So, for example, right now I'm working on Ryan Murray. Uh, I'm going to boost him up hopefully to 99 overall. And then I was thinking about pairing him up with a Seth Jones, maybe team of the week boosted. Kind of get like a rookie D pairing and then maybe a rookie uh, offensive line with McKinnon and whatnot. So, I think that could be a cool idea. Just try it out for the hell of it. I'm kind of, I'm not bored with Hockey Ultimate Team. But I'm sort of like, I'm, I just want something to spice it up. I kind of want to have a goal um, to, to boost these players. I don't know. It's just something new. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in to the second method. That's, this is a, uh, this whole entire thing is a, um, a routine. This is a routine like, uh, that I just do over and over and over again throughout the day. So the first thing, watching an ad. Once I watch the ad and redeem them, I go to the market switch over to head coaches and set the maximum price to 250 pucks this is the head coach method now these gold coaches i'm not going to bid on any of them just for the sheer fact that i only have 500 pucks but if i did want to do this method you can bid 100 pucks only up to 100 pucks on unrare golds now an unrare gold coach is going to be the non shiny coach so this one right here is not a shiny coach or not a shiny gold coach so i can only bid 100 pucks they quick sell for 110 so i'll be able to buy it for 100 quick sell it and make a 10 puck profit which is obviously not a large amount but once you get like four or five six pages full on your watch list of coaches that you bid on and you've bid like 5 10 maybe even 15 20 thousand pucks on coaches and you quick sell it all it really does make a decent profit so right there that guy just won it and he could easily quick sell that for 110 so uh we'll just go down the list bronze coaches are not worth anything so don't even bid 50 pucks on those um the rare golds i'll go ahead and show you the rare golds in a second but i'll show you these silvers now you can bid up to 50 pucks on any silvers so the unrare silvers see the difference this one's shiny this one's not the unrare silvers are i think they quick sell for 55 pucks so buy it for 50 sell it for 55 that's a five puck profit the uh rare ones i think go for a hundred if i'm not mistaken so buy it for 50 sell it for 100 get a 50 puck profit 
Now, those are that's the rundown on those. Now, let me go ahead and take a look at the rare, um, the rare golds. Now, I'm just gonna bump it up so I find all rare ones. Uh, but you easily can get them for 250, which is going to be the maximum price that you can bid on these shiny rare gold coaches. Um, you could easily get all these guys for 250. Usually, they start popping up right around the 50 minute mark. Uh, if you go all the way down to the 50th minute and uh, you can bid up to 250 pucks because they quick sell for 300 so that's uh, that's the rundown let me just go over it one more time and uh, I might put it up on the screen so you can see it the all silver coaches quick sell for a little over 50 so you could only bid 50 pucks on any silver for unrare gold they quick sell for 110 so you could bid 100 and for the rare golds, they quick sell for 300, so you can bid up to 250. So that's my first thing. Usually I fill up three, four, five, maybe even six pages on my watch list full of bi um, bids on coaches. After that, I go ahead and open up a bronze pack. Now everyone knows the bronze pack method. Um, yeah, how about you get a sneak peek at my team? Hello. Uh, if you watch my Hockey Ultimate Team update series, you pretty much just saw everyone I got. But uh, let's go ahead and try and find um, a player that I can just get rid of in quick sell for uh, 100 pucks or something like that. So there we go. That's perfect. Right off the bat. You can actually see uh, what I'm in the in the process of doing. I'm probably going to get... Uh, I only have... Oh, let me see. Where is he? Uh, I don't know where he is. I have Ryan Murray somewhere in there that I'm boosting. And then I need to get a Seth Jones and boost him. But we'll do that later. Anyway, so if you haven't uh, found out what the bronze pack method is, it's a very well-known method. All you do is open up a bronze pack. So right here, we're just going to open it up for 600 pucks and see what we get. So uh, hopefully we do get something decent out of this. Uh, we got a rare contract. So not a horrible pack. Let's go ahead and see what they're worth. So you put 600 into this pack pack you see this guy's worth 300 apparently this guy's worth 300 already right there if you could sell them for that that's your pucks right back plus this guy that sells for 800 that's already the pack 100 100 all this is just gravy this is just icing on the theoretical cake 200 pucks 50 all this stuff so we're gonna go ahead and just send all this to the trade pile at least for right now i'm not gonna put them up i'm not gonna list them right now um, i'll probably do that after the video but uh Usually I just list them, usually I list them about 50 pucks to 100 pucks under their last sold price. Um, so for example, this guy that sells for 800 apparently, I'd probably put him up for a buy now of 700, maybe even 650. Um, I do find that sometimes it's difficult, didn't mean to send that to my active roster. Sometimes I do find out that it is difficult to sell these bronze players. Just because, for the most part, there's not a lot of people looking for them. If anyone is going to buy them, they're going to buy them because they need them for the collections. And uh, there's not too many people looking right now. So you may have to list them up a couple of times. But uh, go ahead and do it. It's worth it. And we're going to get on to the next method, which is going to be the silver pack method. Now, I'm sure everyone heard of this method as well. This is a very, very well-known method in... I'd probably say my favorite method, um, just because this is the method that's going to be able to get you the most pucks fastest. The head coach method, you can get a fair amount of pucks, but it's going to take a while. The bronze pack, that's the same deal. But silver pack, I'm going to go ahead and show you a silver pack that I got in the past since I don't have enough pucks right now. So let's go ahead and cut over to that clip. All you do, you open up a silver pack for 2,500 pucks and you see what you get. You see this player that I ended up getting was over or worth over 11,000 pucks. Um, when I sold him, he wasn't quite going for 11,000. Um, so I put him up for around 10, 9 to 10,000 and he sold right away. So, uh, you know, obviously that's a huge profit, 2,500. And uh, you get a player that's worth 10,000 plus everything else you can sell. And that's just icing on the cake. So that's the silver pack method. So again, we're just going to go over it again. I'll watch my ad. Head coaches, bid on all the head coaches that I can make money on, open up a bronze pack, and open up a silver pack, and now the best method in NHL 14 Hockey Ultimate Team. Um, people think that there's a bunch of crazy different methods to make pucks, and when they ask me, you know, what's the best method, what's the best method, um, usually I just tell them straight up, 
it's playing games. That's how I make the bulk of my pucks, I'd say. As you see, I'm 349, 159, and 25. I've played over 530 games. That's a lot of games. Now, I've seen some people that have played like a thousand games, and it's absolutely ridiculous. But I've played, I think, what is that? Uh -huh, 533 games total. Um, that's a that's a lot of games. So simply, I do that, and then if I'm re I play hut seasons, or if I'm really on my puck making grind, and I really, really want to just grind out some games, I go to tournaments. I go to the rookie tournament since it's the easiest. Now, I don't like it to account um, for all these guys' stats. I don't want, uh, you know, Stamkos to always have like five gold knights, and it's going to count towards his stats and everything when I look at them for the Hockey Ultimate Team Update series, so that's going to screw everything up. So I simply made a Dusters lineup that's basically full of bronze, and I think there's a couple silver players in there as well, and that's my team that I play for the rookie tournaments. And it's real easy, all I do, I press start. Once the game starts, I watch maybe a YouTube video or two, um, leave the controller on the ground, pick it up, you know, in the third period, it's super easy to score goals. So I score a goal, I score maybe two, three goals within like a minute or two, set the controller back down, go do whatever outside, go walk around, and uh, by the time you get back, the game's already over, and that's like 700, maybe even 800 pucks in your pocket. So uh, do that. The last game, if you win the championship, it's worth uh, like right around 1,000 pucks, and uh, I'll probably do like one of these a day, and uh, after I complete the tournament, Guess what? I do the same thing over again. At that point, all my coaches coaches should be... I'm having trouble talking here. They should be expired. So I would go to my watch list, hurry up, and right now I don't think I have any. No, I don't have any right now. But if I did, I'd go ahead and quick sell them. Once they were all quick sold and I made that profit from the... From the coaches, I'd go ahead and check out the trade pile, see what sold, see what didn't sell. If uh, the, the ones that didn't sell, I'd relist them after that. Go back to the market, switch over to head coaches, and we're going to do the same exact thing over again. Bid on the coaches. Once I bid on all the coaches that I can make money on, I go ahead and open up a bronze pack, a silver pack, list them, go play a tournament, and then right back do the same thing. Sell all the coaches bid on all the coaches, check the trade pile, all that stuff. I just do it over and over and over again. And that's how I make the bulk of my, uh, that's how I make the bulk of my, my EA pucks. And also there's a little bit of a secret. It's not a secret, um, but maybe I'll make a complete video on it later um, for trading. Uh, a big way that I get my really good players, or uh, not my really good players, but the, the way I get really good deals on players is through trading and not buying the players. So for example, say I wanted a Matt Duchesne, someone that goes for upwards of 70,000 pucks. Uh, if I wanted a guy like this, not like that, but uh, like there, right there, uh, you could buy him for 70k or you can kind of lowball him in a trade and a lot of times you'll see that uh, you can kind of, it sounds douchey or messed up, but you can kind of take control or uh, take advantage rather. You can take advantage of some of the people that don't necessarily know the market all that well. So usually when there's like uh, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds left in the guy's auction um, and he doesn't have a high bid, I'll go ahead and send a trade that's only worth like 50k or something like that. And a lot of times the people that don't know the market too well will accept it right away because they don't necessarily know the market all that well and they think they're getting a good deal when they're not. Now again, I know it sounds like dickish and everything, um, but hey, it's all part of the game. So for example, maybe uh, Matt Duchesne, maybe someone's kind of well or uneducated and really doesn't know exactly what he's actually going to sell for. Go ahead and offer him like... Uh, a Patrick Sharp, a normal Patrick Sharp in 5k or 10k, he may accept it because he might think the Patrick Sharp goes for like 100k and he thinks he's getting a good deal. But really, he's not. He's kind of getting screwed over and you're getting the good deal. So uh, again, sounds douchey, but that's something that I can do to get really good players for cheap. Um, and also, I buy a lot of my players at like 3 in the morning so I can get some really, really good deals. That's just a, a quick... Uh, a quick pl uh, buying players for good prices uh, guide but that's gonna do it for this puck making method video I hope you did enjoy it if you did feel free to hit that like button down below uh, I do want to say really quick that you can follow me on Twitter at Zab Productions. There's going to be a link in the first line of the description just like every single video and uh, feel free to follow me 
that's where I update you guys on all my videos when I'm making them and everything. Uh, when I'm live streaming, you'll know right away there. We can talk hockey, talk life, whatever. Go ahead and just follow me. And uh, what else? Go ahead and ask me all your questions in the comment section down below. Again, you can ask me any and every question in the world, and I'll answer as many as I can. Um, and that's going to do it, guys. Uh, go ahead and feel free to subscribe, and until next time, guys, I'm Zab, and I'll see you next time.